Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, you read the title. I mean, come on. We're going to be doing June 2020 Boxy Charm, well, Boxy Lux unboxing and first impressions and stuff. So, y'all, this is huge. Like, look at it next to my head. Like, it's huge. Okay, so let's just open it right up. Let me set it down. I won't drop it. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. This is what, the, what it comes. What it comes like. Take this paper off. Okay, and it has all that in it. So today we got a little paper, unlike last month. And this month, uh, the theme is the Oasis. So I see Boxy Charm trying to be shady. Okay, you know we can't go anywhere. We can't be traveling. So, let's see. So already I'm intrigued when I saw that Boxy Charm for the Boxy Lux, and I believe also for the regular box subscription, we were getting a full size Kylie Skin foaming face wash. I was like, I'm ready because I have been wanting to try this but then I was like I don't know if I should because I already have a face wash that I like but now that it's included I get to try it so no doubt and then we have the Tula skincare glow and get it cooling and brightening eye balm so that's this and then we have the no pore problem prime essence by touch and soul and then we have this Recovery treatment oil. I don't know how to say that company's name. I'm sorry guys, but we have this. And then we have a body bodyography. Yeah, bodyography professional cosmetics. Two lip pencil. It's a two-pack with two lip pencils. So yeah. And then we have this Tarte Tartiest Pro Palette. I actually, I believe my mom has the smaller version of this one, but this is like the big size, so that's pretty cool. And then we also have this Smile Science, Science, Sciences, <laughs> Sciences, Science, yeah, Sciences. Okay, it's two pens to whiten your teeth. I'm so excited for this, y'all. Like, I have been wanting to get my teeth whitened forever, and I just never got around to it. But I've been seeing these little pins around on Instagram, on everything, and, like, they seem pretty cool, like, legit. And then we also have this charcoal brush set, and I think it's a five-piece. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's a five-piece brush set. And then we also have this little picture of Miss Kylie Jenner. She looking cute or whatever. And it says, enjoy $5 off your next, um purchase from Kylie skin so yeah that's what was in this month's box and I mean the first thing I'm gonna try for sure is gonna be this face wash because I mean you can't apply anything else without having a nice clean fresh face so let's get right into it Okay guys, so the first step is to wet your skin. It says you're supposed to wet your skin. So that's what I'm doing right now. Just gently putting some water on my skin. And then it says to gently massage in circular motions and then rinse thoroughly with warm water. So that's what we're gonna do. How many pumps should I do? Like, let me see. Well, that's one. Okay, about like one and a half technically. So then I'm just gonna massage it in my hands first. This was a lot. It's okay. Okay, so now I'm gonna rinse it off with warm water. Thank you. 
Okay, guys, so now I'm just going to take my towel and I'm going to... My towel? <laughs> my towel and I'm going to pat my face down gently. You're not going to... You're not going to rub. You're just going to pat. Wow. I feel fresh or whatever. Let's go. Okay, guys, so let me tell y'all really quick. This, like, my skin feels so good. Like, it feels really nice and refreshed. Like, super smooth. And, like, I haven't even put anything on. So, right now, what I'm going to put on is it's going to be this recovery treatment oil. And, um, yeah, like, I just, you know, I guess a recover. Wait. Recovering from what? A blend okay it says it helps address the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles okay so yeah this is you know I'm just gonna apply this it's a lot like that and then one here and I feel like that should be good Okay, guys, so now that I applied that, um, it kind of worked like a, I mean, it was like, a, it's an, it's an oil. I mean, you know, it makes your skin feel really smooth and stuff. So, um, one thing, it does smell really strong, like super strong. So I wouldn't recommend if you don't like super strong smells. It smells a lot like, uh, citrus. And I'm just wiping off right here under my eyes so I can apply the Tula. But yeah, like it, it smells really citrusy. So now, ow! We're gonna move on to the Glow and Get It Cooling Brightening Eye Balm from Tula. I heard this is really good. I heard the pink one is really good. So to try this one. Mm, I don't know what it smells like. Okay, so then I'm just going to apply it right under my eye. whoa okay i see what it did there so then i'm just going to pat it in guys one thing i don't know if y'all have ever heard of this but i've heard it somewhere and if you use this finger to do this stuff it pulls your skin instead of like you know i don't know how it works so you're supposed to use your middle finger to pat but because supposedly your index finger pulls your skin more. So just FYI, keep out, okay? Keep keeping. Remember that is what I'm trying to say. Okay. So the next thing that we're going to be trying is going to be this No Pore Problem Prime Essence. So let me see, what is this? Um, okay. It says, Prime Essence infused with Calendula flower extract tightens up the pores and keeps the skin silky and smooth for better and long-lasting makeup. Okay, it's a primer. I mean, what was I expecting, right? Okay. Whoa, okay, this is pretty cool. Okay, so I'm just going to take it. And it's just a primer, y'all. So, you know, just apply it like a normal primer. Yo, this is liquidy the house down boots. Okay. Okay, guys. So I'm not sure if it smells like anything. Because all I'm smelling is that citrusy from this recovery treatment thing I honestly don't smell nothing but I mean y'all need to let me down y'all need to let me know down in the comments below if y'all can smell something because right now I can't smell nothing like nothing okay guys so 
Next up, we have the Smile Sciences Professional Results Sis. This is Professional Results. Okay, so we're just going to open her up. Well, okay, so there's two in here, so I'm just going to use one. How do we use it? Okay, it says brush teeth and floss. I already did that before this video. It says twist pen to dispense gel. Smile wide to keep lips away from teeth. Dry teeth. The drier the teeth are, the better results. How do you dry your teeth? Okay, like that, I guess. And it says apply a thin layer of gel to teeth. Keep off gums. Rinse after 30 minutes, sissy. 30 minutes. Okay, so how am I supposed to do this? Like, how wide am I supposed to? Can I close my mouth after I apply it? So, I, you know, I'm going to open it. This thing is stiff, I think. Yeah, it's kind of stiff. So I'm just going to dispense some. Can y'all see it with this pink? Okay, maybe I shouldn't do it with a pink. Maybe I'll just do it like that. Let's see. see nothing coming out <gasps> okay 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 so I'm just gonna apply it to make Hi guys, so we're back. The teeth, uh, they look a little bit whiter. They don't look like crazy white where you would be like, whoa, like this is awesome. Like, I mean, I believe like if I use it probably a couple more times, I can probably, you know, get them whiter. Ah. But um, yeah, like for the first time, it wasn't bad. Like it, they actually look whiter than what they were. So now we're going to move on to the five piece brush set and this is by So now we're going to move into the brush the five piece brush set. This is the charcoal brush set. It says it's vegan charcoal infused bristles blah blah blah. Out the box. Why does that always happen to me? So let's see. So first we have this one. This is a contour brush see okay y'all these brushes is so like they're not dense I don't know they're too soft but it's okay we'll see how they work and then we have a eyeshadow brush looks like this and then we have a oh, come on it and then we have a concealer brush okay this is cool that one feels that one feels like it's gonna do the job right and then we have this powder brush I love powder brushes you know just to wipe away the powder and lastly we have this brush and this is a highlighter brush it's cute I mean, I would definitely not use this as a highlighter brush. Like, no. It's too stiff. This would be kind of like a, you know, a blending brush, I would say. So, let's see. Let's see how they work. So. I'm going to go and use this contour brush because this is too soft for contour like no mm -mm. so I'm just going to go ahead and use this for foundation and see how it works
Okay, guys, so this brush, I mean, it's too soft for anything. Like, if it, I would mainly use this for, like, um, a cream contour, and it's, like, too soft. But, I mean, you know, it's whatever. So now I'm going to go in with my concealer, and I'm going to be using the concealer brush. And I'm going to go in with my Morphe concealer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on the brush. Like that. And then we're just going to apply it. Okay, so definitely what I noticed is that I had to apply more concealer than what I normally do. And I don't like that. Like, that was too much concealer that I had to apply. So I'm just going to go in with my Beauty Blender and blend it out. Okay, guys, so this is what we're looking like. Yeah, that's... The brush soaked up so much concealer that I had to reapply concealer onto the brush. Okay, so next we have this little powder brush, and I'm just going to powder up my face. I'm going to be using the Kat Von D, the KVD Beauty, Vegan Beauty oh, Locket Powder. I'm just going to take some, take some off, because that was a lot. I'm just going to... You know. Okay, guys, so this brush, totally a good powder brush, I must say. It, like, it got through my face very quickly. So now we have these two little brushes left. So let's go ahead and play with our little tart, tartress, tart, tart pro palette let's let's see what these shades look like see what we're messing with let's open her up oh no hunty is she broken no she's not broken she's got all this powder on her yeah. <laughs> I'm dumb. I just thought it wasn't going to come with one of those little paper things. <sighs> oh. Oh, y'all. It smells so good. Okay. So let's just get in with these eyeshadow brushes. So let's see. What brushes do we have? So this is supposed to be just an eyeshadow brush. I have a million eyeshadow brushes for different uses and then the highlighter brush so the highlighter brush I'm gonna use it for like um, more like a transition shade that's what I'm gonna use this eye brush for so I'm gonna dip into the shade bold which is this one right here and also into innocent which is the second one Y'all, I love this big mirror. I can see everything. Okay, guys, so with this same brush, I think I'm going to dip into the shade. Hmm... Yeah, we're going to dip into the shade Edgy, which is that one right there next to the back. And I'm going to focus this on the outer corner.
Okay guys, so now I'm going to dip back into the shade Innocent. And I'm going to apply that in my crease once again just to blend the colors a little bit more. Bold shade, the first shade we used. And I'm just going to blend the cut crease and the dark brown eyeshadow together. Okay, then I'm going to take just the eyeshadow brush. <laughs> and I think I'm going to pack on... Let's see. I'm feeling very... Glam today. So we're going to dip into the shade Glam, which is the second shimmery shade. And I'm going to apply that on my crease. Yo, this is so cute. I love it. Like, it's super simple and easy. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take... No, that's it. That's it, brother. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do my bottom lash line. And I'm just going to be using the shade Innocent and Edgy. The dark shades that we used for the look. Okay, guys, so I must say, whoa, this came out super cute. What? It's super cute. Okay, so the brushes, <laughs> excuse me, the brushes that I used for the eyeshadow, these two brushes, which was all I used, they were actually really good. The colors blended out very well. Now, I don't know if that's, you know, sometimes it's the brush or, like, the eyeshadows, you know. But, like, I feel like the brushes did a very, very good job of making it super easy for these colors to blend. So, that's good. The only brush that I was like, Mer, was um, this one and the concealer brush. Like, they're, like, okay. They're not the best, but they will work if you make them work. You know, and I dug my nail into the palette. <sighs> that sucks, but it's okay. So now the last thing we have is the two um lip pencils by uh, by who? By body uh, bodyography. That's so weird to say. By bodyography. So let's see what shades we got today. Hello. Okay. So, these are the two shades. I'm going to swatch them for y'all real quick. So, this one is called Pouty. The light brown shade. A pinky shade. I don't know what y'all would call it. Y'all, they're so creamy. Like, that was easy to do. And this one is called Rosewood. Which is like a, a maroon burgundy shade. So there it is. This top one is rosewood and this one is pouty. Right? Yeah. Pouty. So I think the one that matches best this look is going to be pouty. Because, you know. We pouty girl. No, I'm kidding. So I'm just going to apply this really quickly. Mm. 
Yo, yeah, this looks like my natural lip color. <laughs> it's super cute and super easy to apply. Like, I didn't have to like sit there and tug. Like, they're really creamy. So, let's just get in and let's talk about the prices of all these products. So, we're going to start off by Miss Kylie Jenner. This foaming face wash retails for $24, which, I mean, to me, it's not bad. It's like an average price for a face wash these days. And then we have the Touch and Soul No Pore Problem, which is this one, which I actually feel like it made my skin look really smooth, like... I actually don't see no pores in this area right here where I actually get, you know, pretty bad at it. Pretty bad with my pores. And then we have the Tula Skin Care Glow and Set uh, lip, Under Eye Lip Balm. And, I mean, when I put it on, y'all, it felt so good. Like, my skin felt, like, pulled back. Like, it felt good. I really like that. So, I will be using that. And then we have the... Tarte palette and this retails for $49 okay which I mean I mean like you know I actually love this palette like you, this is not the only shadow you can create there's purples in there there's mauve pinks in there there's shimmer in there like there's a lot of shades in there that you can create totally different eyeshadow looks but this is just what i went for nice and easy and so like yeah i'm really excited to try this on other stuff like for other occasions and then we have the smile sciences teeth whitening pens and these retail for 80 dollars these are 40 dollars a pop that's expensive but I mean, you know, whatever. So then we have the brush set. Let me get all the brushes. So then we have this brush set, the five brush, five piece brush set, and this retails for fifty-five dollars. Y'all, let me tell y'all something. I would not pay no fifty-five dollars for five brushes. No way in in life would I ever pay $55 for five brushes no you can go to Morphe and get a whole bunch of brushes for way cheaper and they're gonna do the job correctly okay I'm just saying I'm just saying so next we have the recovery treatment oil and this retails for $82 now I mean I felt you know nice and moisturized when I applied it but like did I feel like Oh my god, it made my skin feel like so good and this and that. Like, eh, not really. I've had other ones that do way better. But overall, like, I don't think it's a bad product. The smell, it just smells so citrusy. Like, um, orange peels, like, that's what it smells like. Super strong. So, if you don't like that, I do not recommend for you to get that. And then we have the lip pencil set, which is these two. And these retail for $28, which, I mean... Honestly, I don't think it's that bad, but it is a little pricey. It's technically 30 bucks for two. Um, so yeah, those were my thoughts and opinions of this boxy charm. So, you know, y'all let me know what y'all think this box. I actually feel like this box, this boxy lux was pretty good. Like I actually felt like they had a good variety of things. So, um, yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment share and subscribe guys don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys